Welcome to the 2020 Be Well Philly Health Hero Celebration presented by Independence Blue Cross. We are so happy to have been running this event for the past nine years. And this year, the program is more important than ever. This event celebrates people that have been making a difference in the region through improving the health and wellness of their communities and caring for others. This year, we have an outstanding group of people that made up our 10 semifinalists. All of them are striving to make positive changes in the region and make Philadelphia a healthier place. Meg DeBrito, Sudan Green, Evan Hardin, Suzanne Johnson, Asasia Muhammad, Shar Nolan, Naomi Rosenberg, Vicky Borgia, Andre Wright, Christy Silva. The Health Hero Challenge would not be possible without our sponsor, Independence Blue Cross, who also sponsors so many other incredible health initiatives around the city. We're lucky that they have partnered with us to put together this incredible program. Now, a word from Independence Blue Cross's VP of Marketing, Colleen Cavanaugh. Independence Blue Cross has been in the Philadelphia region for over 80 years, and our mission is to improve the health and well being of the people and the communities that we serve. It's so important for Independence Blue Cross to be part of the Health Hero Challenge with Philadelphia Magazine, especially in today's times with the pandemic. So many people are struggling to get access to health care, and people in our communities, these health heroes, what they're doing to provide access to care and quality care means so much to the people here in Philadelphia, and we really want to be able to help recognize that. I'm floored every year by what these health heroes are doing and the people that Philadelphia has really shined a spotlight on uh, through the Health Hero Challenge the passion, the energy, the commitment, um, the dedication that these health heroes show to uh, the causes that they support and that they have championed is unbelievable. And really being able to make personal connections out in their communities to make a real difference in people's lives is really astounding. Independence Blue Cross is thrilled to be able to provide our health hero winner with a $15,000 award for the charity of their choice. Nonprofit organizations really are the backbone of our community. Community. Those are the folks that are on the front line day to day working within the communities, understanding what the needs of the communities are. So to be able to recognize them through the Health Hero Challenge and further shine a spotlight on their organizations and the good work that they do means that more people can be helped. They've done such amazing things to even just be recognized as finalists, semi-finalists, and you know, now our ultimate winner. Uh, we can only imagine the things that they will do with, with $15,000 to advance the charity of their choice. So the Health Hero Challenge really is different than other awards uh, that are out there. We're really recognizing everyday people like you and me that see a need within their community and they step up and say, I can do something about this. And they take their passion and their creativity and their resourcefulness and really make a difference in our community. And it's really something that any of us can do. It's just taking that energy and focus and, and making it happen. A huge thank you to all of our finalists and semi finalists and everyone that supported them throughout the Health Hero Challenge. Uh, you do amazing work and huge congratulations to all of you and especially to our Health Hero winner. Uh, congratulations and thank you for all that you do to support our communities. Thank you so much, Colleen. There's been so much excitement this year around the 10 semifinalists as well as the finalists. It was truly incredible to start off this year reading the nominations and hear so many passionate testimonials from Philadelphians all around the region, speaking of how these finalists and semifinalists have made a huge difference in people's lives. The votes were also incredibly close this year, so it really shows how much love that the community and all of you gave to the final three women that we have for our Health Hero finalists this year. Now, without further ado, here are the three finalists for the 2020 Be Well Philly Health Hero Challenge presented by Independence Blue Cross. Asasia Muhammad for the Maternity Care Coalition. Christy Silva for Aiden's Heart Foundation. Dr. Vicki Borgia for the Women's Medical Fund. Before we announce our winner, I'd like to play for you a series of three videos that will tell you a little bit more about each of these finalists' stories and mission. My name is Asasia Muhammad. I'm a certified professional and licensed midwife. Asasia is one of the uh, few black midwives in Philadelphia who is able to offer sort of full spectrum support to families. I think when people come to me, they feel a space where they identify with their provider and it makes they feel like they're in an environment 
and a community of people who really care. She was featured in a WHYY post about midwives. I had just recently found out that I was pregnant and I knew that I didn't want to go the hospital route because of the experiences that I had with the emergency room and then experiences that family members of mine had. The maternal infant mortality rate for women in the Black community is so high. It's not just socioeconomic factors. It's the microaggressions that we face when we go into systems where people don't understand the nuances of who we are. That plays into the outcomes, not getting the quality of care that one deserves. She has chosen Maternity Care Coalition and particularly my community doula and breastfeeding program as a recipient of the award money. They help low-income families with doula support. A doula is a labor support companion to advocate for you and help you with comfort measures through labor. Sassi is truly an inspiration for the growing birth worker community of people of color. That's why we need more Black doulas. She made me feel really, really comfortable. She also included my husband and wanted to know what he um, was worried about. I think when you're able to have a joyful birth that you feel a sense of empowerment, it gives you a sense that you can do anything. After having my daughter, I'm like, okay, I really can do this. This is what we were made to do. I can do this. If we continue and we remain consistent and diligent and sincere, we will see the rate of maternal infant mortality start to decrease. We also want to shine light on the narrative that there are other options. So you are not doomed by pregnancy as a Black woman. Radiance Medical Group is a direct primary care practice in South Philly. Patients pay a membership fee that's affordable each month. The people who can pay the full price for their membership automatically offset the people who can't you become part of a community that's helping each other out. Dr. Borja is obviously a very long time health advocate who recognizes the need of providing quality health care, especially to folks who are otherwise disenfranchised. Everything from abortion to maternal mortality to the way in which LGBTQ clients or patients are unfortunately differently handled at medical care facilities. She doesn't function the way other healthcare providers do. I often send our clients who are uninsured or underinsured to her for care, and Dr. Borgia is always willing to see them, usually free of charge. And she also sees the disparities within medicine and prioritizes black and brown people as well as undocumented people in her practice. The reason I'm doing this is so that the people out there who feel traumatized can see that there is another place that they can go that's safe. Like charity is the Women's Medical Fund. Women's Medical Fund was created so that anybody who needed to pay for an abortion could do so, regardless of their zip code, regardless of their income level. And so we've been funding abortion care since 1985. And over the past few years, we've also incorporated community organizing. We also have to fight collectively to ensure that we are fighting against the restrictions that cause people to be living in poverty to begin with. They understand that just because there's access to reproductive justice, that doesn't mean everyone has access. I think that Dr. Borgia has a genuine care for people. She supports our community financially, emotionally, and in regards to mental health. The most gratifying moments I have are when people tell me this has been unlike any other doctor visit I've had. We were getting ready for a barbecue. I noticed that I hadn't heard from Aiden in a few minutes. I reached over, I tickled his belly. Um, there was no response. As De Silva lost her son Aiden to sudden cardiac arrest, he only had four days of first grade and then he died. Seeing what Christy has done in her community since Aiden's passing in 2010 is extraordinary. Aiden's Heart Foundation was founded in order to prevent sudden cardiac arrest from taking other lives. We place AEDs anywhere that kids are active. We do free heart screenings and we also train people in how to use CPR and AED. Simple, simple skills in how to save a life.
What better thing to do in your community than empowering people with skills to protect and save lives? I suffered a sudden cardiac arrest in my sophomore year of high school and an AED, which is an automated external defibrillator, was used to shock my heart back into its normal rhythm. So when I speak at assemblies, students are so tuned in to what I'm saying and my story. The award would enable us to have another heart screening, allow us to continue to place AEDs. I think that is what makes her a health and a heart hero. Uh, she's a champion to parents, please get your kids tested, especially if they're athletes. Ask, where is the AED? Who knows how to use it? I know he's high-fiving me for the work that we're doing. And so even though he's not with me today, I'm always going to be his mom. The winner of this year's Health Hero Challenge will be featured in the January-February issue of Philadelphia Magazine along with a $15,000 donation from Philadelphia Magazine and Independence Blue Cross to their charity. The two runners up will also receive a $2,500 donation to their charities from Philadelphia Magazine and Independence Blue Cross. Now on a typical Health Hero celebration night, we would all gather and share stories and celebrate these heroes in person in a beautiful location. This year, we obviously can't do that. So we had to get a little bit creative. We still wanted this moment to be a celebration of joy and to feel as in the moment as possible. So we did things a little bit differently this year. Watch to see how we told the winner of this year's Health Hero Challenge what they won. Sounds good. I'm going to let her in so she doesn't leave. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. All right. She's coming. Hi, Christy. Hi. How are you guys? Yeah, so we're really excited for the event, kind of to see the outcomes here. We just wanted to have the finalists give like a little thank you sort of thing. Nothing crazy, but just something that we wanted to integrate into the final video. It's you and Gina doing the practice. I'm going to turn myself off and Julia's going to turn herself off so you guys can do the practice like, like the real thing. What has been exciting for you so far about being involved with this program? You know, our focus as an organization, Aiden's Heart, is protecting young hearts and keeping kids safe from sudden cardiac arrest. So, you know, the focus of our organization is health. Um, you know, for all of Philadelphia to be voting and, and being made aware of our cause is just um, really, uh, it, hit, it hits home. You should be really proud of the work that you're doing. So that's so impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I have to tell you that we also are kind of playing a little trick on you right now because uh -oh. <laughs> actually isn't an interview. I'm calling to tell you that you are the health hero and Aiden's Heart Foundation is the health hero 2020. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you won. So congratulations. <laughs> You absolutely deserve it. I'm so proud of you. And that's what the people um, have. Oh my gosh, Tina. Yeah. So you're going to be able to get more of those AEDs and help me oh! on our AIDS summary. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That's doing and, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> I know. Um, so, Thank you. Yeah, take your take your time. It's, it's you know it's it's really wonderful. And we're we're very happy to that this is that this is happening from IBX and um. It's, uh, oh my gosh! I can't wait to tell you where we place these AEDs. Um, it's going to be a phenomenal opportunity for us to extend once again out there. You know a call for applications and places where, you know, they feel that they are serving youth while they're active and to protect those young hearts. And I'm so grateful. We are so grateful. Thank you to Philly Mag. Thank you for recognizing that there are many of us out there working to try to make our area more healthy and protect them. Thank you. Thank you. It might not be the same as doing it in person, but we're so glad we were able to surprise Christy and deliver that incredible news. We're so happy that every year we get to celebrate 
amazing health heroes throughout the region and support the work that they're doing to make our communities better. We know this event looks a little bit different this year, but we thank you so much for tuning in. If you miss any piece of the event, or if you just want to share it with a friend or family member, it will be available tomorrow on the Be Well Philly Instagram, so follow us there, as well as at the YouTube link below. On behalf of Independence Blue Cross, Philadelphia Magazine, and our Health Hero Challenge 2020, I want to thank again all of the finalists, the semi-finalists, and all of the incredible health heroes in the region that we weren't able to honor this year. Your work truly does make a difference. Stay safe, Billy.